Hi guys, alrighty, so I really did not have any intentions of making a video today. Um, as you guys can tell, I'm in bed, and my, I have no makeup on. Um, tomorrow's my last day of work, um, but I just wanted to talk about my doctor's appointment today. Um, I am a very ticked off, frustrated, and just done and ready to switch hospitals at 39 weeks pregnant. Um, and a C-section schedule for Friday. Um, I went in on May 5th, no, May 3rd, yes, May 3rd, um, to talk to um, the doctor who's going to be doing my C-section about doing the gentle C-section. Um, and at that time, she's like, oh, yeah, we can do it. Uh, the only thing was the placental encapsulation. She's like, you just need to write a letter, blah, blah, blah. So I did that, I wrote the letter, even though we're not doing that now because of all the complications that I've had, but, so, we, you know, but she even called down to, um, anesthesiology and say, and they just told them, you know, that I, I wanted, you know, you know, my support person to be able to hold my hand. And of course they said, well, n no, but if they want to sit next to her and, you know, just kind of rub her leg or just, you know, touch her in some way so that way, you know, if it keeps her calm. Well, that's been changed. They're not going to allow it. I, um, I don't, I still don't know if it's going to be my husband or not, but they can sit on the other side of the room. Well, what's the point of them being in the room even? Then, um, so I went, okay, I said, um, I said, we also wanted, you know, I said, there's those times when things are very silent that I start getting very anxious, you know, he said, I can't, you know, I do have anxiety, but it's also, it gets really bad, sorry, when there, I can't control what's going on, which obviously I can't control what's going on with all of this. So I, you know, I said, well, what about, you know, the music, so that way, and she said, oh, no, they can't, I'm like, okay, you guys agreed to it, um, okay, I said, so, of my birth plan, what are you guys doing, because, uh, you know, and even last week, last week, last Monday, they had said, oh, yes, we'll do, you know, I said, you know, we're going to review my birth plan on, you know, on the 23rd. And she said, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And this was last Monday when I had my pre-op. Uh, she was also running behind, so I don't think she actually looked at my birth plan. I think she was just assuming, okay, regular C-section, blah, blah, blah. Well, <sighs> she looked at, she pulled out my birth plan, and she's like, well, we're not doing any of this. And I'm like, excuse me? Um, <laughs> you guys agreed to it a while ago because if you guys didn't, I was leaving your practice and I was headed to the hospital that I know would do it where I, I didn't even need to try to convince them. And she's like, well, really what's important is having a healthy baby at the end. I said, there's nothing on here that is going to prevent a, you know, make a unhealthy baby. I'm not asking for you guys to, you know, allow a hundred people in during my C-section. I'm okay with the one person that's hospital policy. Um, I had Penny, when I first wrote this up, look into the hospital policies and just see, because like I told her, I said, well, I don't want to get my heart set on something and then be told, well, it's hospital policy. She's like, no, I understand. So she looked and she said, there's nothing that you're asking for that's completely against hospital policy. Um, well, I also found out today that we started July 1st that it's a hospitalist, not a pediatrician, that will be um, assisting with the birth of... Madeline, which I'm not okay. I have a $500 copay to pay for a hospitalist. Uh, I don't mean any offense to anybody that's a hospitalist, but I want a pediatrician. 
uh, when we have Tiny that has failure to thrive, I can't help but get a little anxious about some stranger who does not know and can't access the family history of Tiny having failure to thrive. It just, it, it's... And the big one that really upsets me the most, and I'm probably going to cry because I've been crying all day since 4 o'clock. Um, about 4.30. As many of you guys know, it's taken us 20 months to get a rainbow. And all I want is to hold her. And not to hold her for like a minute or anything. I just want to give her a quick, sorry, a quick hug. That's all I want. All I want. You know, 20 months is a long time to, you know, to wait. And that's all I want. I want to just give her a quick hug. And, you know, she's like, oh, well... You can hear her crying from the other room, and I said, that's not good enough. That's, for me, that's not good enough. Because I know there's still the high possibility of her going to the big hospital, even with her being born on Friday. Like, and then she's like, oh, you'll be able to hear her the whole time while she's crying. And I'm like, but the second she stops... I'm getting off the table. I don't care if I can't feel my legs. I don't care. You you can't, you know. Like, I understood that if she was a preemie, you know, I had even gotten the permission that I could just squeeze her foot on her way by, and I understood they had to just get her to the, the big hospital. I understood that. But I was okay. It, I was allowed to, you know, just squeeze her little foot on her way by, and... And now I'm being told, yeah, well, you can't even give her a hug, even though she's full term. And that's all I want. It's a quick, just, a hug. No, she's here. She's okay. And then I'm okay. I just, I'm mad. I feel that I was lied to by my hospital, by my doctors, um... I did call when I got home, and I scheduled an appointment with the doctor that I do love. That unfortunately she can't do my C-section, but to talk to her and say what can you guys, what can be done to help? Because the hospital, I already called the hospital that would have done the gentle C-section, and they said no. I am too. They would take me if I was thirty-six weeks, but where I'm thirty-nine weeks, no. Um, yeah, so, I'm just, I'm really upset, frustrated, and done. So, um, I will be calling the Pete Center tomorrow morning, um, to talk to them and say, well, since I'm not having a pediatrician, I'm meeting, I want to set up my appointment immediately with the doctor that sees my daughter, for, you know, Monday afternoon. Basically, when we get released from the hospital, I'm going upstairs to see you guys because I'm not comfortable using a hospitalist where they're just kind of general, you know, it, it it's stupid to me. You're saving money by using a hospitalist, but my copay is still the same amount. It doesn't sound right. You know, you're skimping on something like that, and yet when you use when you go in for an appointment with the the pediatricians, you still wait an hour. Why am I waiting an hour if you're not doing birth anymore? So, so I will talk to you guys. Um, give you guys any updates on if anything changes with this and my wonderful doctors. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.